Hello everyone. Today we are with uh, Dr. B.S. Ajay Kumar. He is founder and executive chairman for Healthcare Global Enterprises. How are you, sir? I am doing good. Thank you very much for having me. Okay. The current market price is rupees 469 and the face value is rupees 10. Company has delivered good profit growth of 29.4% CAGR over five years. So, sir, please tell us about uh, the current results which have come and uh, the results are good, but we also see that other income in Q2 has uh, increased. Yeah, you know, we have we had a record revenue and we are over 500 crores and we have our EBITDA, which is increased over 100 crores for the first time. And yes, uh, due to some uh, one-time adjustments and all, the other income has increased, but the most important thing for us has been the growth, which has been significant, particularly our oncology segment growth has been 19%. And we are focused in oncology. We do have some, uh, you know, multi-speciality in fertility, but uh, in future also with acquisition of what we have done in Vizac, our growth will be only in oncology, and that is where we are seeing the significant growth happening, 19%. And uh, as uh, uh, we have already said, our margin has also improved to 18.5% and continues to show an improvement. So overall, we believe we have had a robust uh, growth. And uh, as we know, cancer, uh, unfortunately, cancer incidence is increasing in India. And we are well positioned not only in the big cities, but also in tier one, tier two cities. HCG is spread all over, uh, all over the country, even in uh, tier two cities. And we expect this growth to happen as we move forward in a single speciality. Okay, sir, uh, what is the main treatment company focusing on? See, we are, uh, as we know, in uh, in oncology, there is uh, surgery, radiation, medical oncology. And all the three branches for us are growing, but much more in medical oncology because there are uh, now a lot of innovations happening in medical oncology. If you look at, for example, uh, lung cancer, where the outcome used to be very poor, Years ago, if you have extensive disease, uh, your survival was only six months or nine months. Now people are living for six years long. So, uh, and because of the changes in the genomics and based on that, we do targeted treatment. So that has really been a game changer in how we approach uh, certain cancers. So immunotherapy is another area where uh, you are now, uh, it is making your own body cells fight against the cancer is also growing rapidly. And in our uh, HCG, that has been one of the growth stories, the immunotherapy. Along with that, with precision medicine today, robotic surgery is also there. And we you know we do... Uh, we don't do big surgeries now, except in select cases. Targeted surgery we do, which helps to give long-term better control for the patient. Similarly, in radiation with the technology, what we have, cyber knife, adoptive radiotherapy, we are able to do precise radiation and get better outcome over a long period. While uh, prevention is important, early detection is important, obviously in cancer, but even in people who come in advanced cases today, uh, HCG is well positioned to treat them and give them the best of outcome equal to the global standards. Okay, so what is your business model? Our business model all along when I started has been hub and spoke model. You know, we have uh, centers of excellence like Bangalore, Ahmedabad. Now we are also trying to make Mumbai Calcutta Centers of Excellence. And what that means is they will have all the possible technology. Like in Bangalore, we have almost 100 oncologists. So it is a uh, center of excellence, whereas uh, Spokes will have radiation center, will have uh, PET scan, but they will consult uh, you know, on tumor boards with the main center. 
and whatever uh, are not available like maybe bone marrow transplant cyber knife the referral will happen to the centers of excellence so we have uh, tumor boards uh, uh, and we conduct all the recurrence clinic look at all the cases and publish data so using this hub and spoke model we can always better publish the data and see how is our outcome compared to best of centers in the world and when you look at uh, what we have published in breast cancer we are equal to or better where we have done studies on that so we are very happy the way things have worked out with our bent spoke model uh, we have nearly 400 oncologists and we continue to grow and with this model the most important thing is is a one stop shop for the patient where they get all the necessary investigations including genomics we have a big genomic lab that is the future you know pre precision medicine involves genomics and other forms of omics and through that we will be able to precisely say which patient requires what treatment and that obviously will give us the better outcome Okay, sir. Currently, how many centers are uh, operating Pan India? We have nearly twenty-five uh, centers uh, and oncology centers, and we are uh, all of them are operating. And some of them are the model of partner model, like uh, center in Ahmedabad, center in Vizag, Nasik, or we have a partner, minority partner. Otherwise, uh, most of the center are hundred percent owned by CG. okay and uh, what is the expansion plan of the company yeah we are now consolidating we want to really expand our presence in areas we are already there like for example in bangalore uh, which is our center of excellence we are putting two new centers one in whitefield one in north bangalore near airport and uh, all of that will give us a dominant role in bangalore similarly we are we are doing we have several peripheral clinics in bangalore and similar model we are expanding in mumbai and also in ahmedabad you know as time goes on we will certainly do a similar model in calcutta also so our goal our business plan is to expand aggressively in the center where we are known and see how we can create a mini hub hub and spoke models and so that we we become well known in that area and most important thing is with this model we can provide the right care to the patient at the right time okay so what have been the major achievements of the company this year major achievements is one in terms of financials as we said we are we are in the record growth we happening and the 19% oncology growth is really good and we also created one merger acquisition we did one in indore and one in uh, vizag and that will set the trend for the future growth so in for, in terms of business the growth is very satisfactory for me uh, for us and we will continue to go but other important thing is we have also achieved landmarks in academics and research <laughs> we have done collaboration now with accenture to do computational work we have also collaborating with a company called trucan to do some basic research to see which drugs works best for which cancer patients so in the, one of the great achievements for me as founder and being an oncologist myself is how we have set the platform for lot of research as we go for so r and d is very important as well as academics we have significant number of uh, residency program fellowship programs that will continue to expand so also will be research we also have funding from hcg for research this will also help us to do very focused research and publications so these are the achievements of hcg in the last year so what have been the major challenges over the so years major, yeah major challenges are you know we participate in lot of government schemes the reimbursements are not good 
reimbursement time is not good so it is a perennial problem recently with vsi has been a problem so some of the centers decided not to do not to participate in esi it is very sad that uh, because of the reimbursement schedule and also there is enormous amount of time they take uh, it is really not work or working for us in terms of financially so we have to forego some of those things uh, unfortunately it does affect the patients but uh, hopefully in the future we can put them back with work better working relationship so that is one of the challenge for us uh, otherwise you know we really uh, do not have many challenges we have uh, technological superiority we have great working relationship with our doctors our doctor retention is good so i think uh, we are very positive the growth will continue to sustain and make an impact in the quality of care to our patients what is the vision of the company the vision is really to provide the right care to the cancer patients at the right time i always say even in my clinic first time right treatment is important cancer is relentless and we have to be relentless in order to win the war on so our goal is to see how we can win the war on cancer we also feel the government involvement in uh, you know restricting tobacco use banning tobacco use is very important we are also been a proponent of alternate uh, for farmers to grow alternate farming tobacco so we'll pursue this so our vision is we have to see how we can win the war on cancer so how do you look at the company in coming next 3 years okay. now the company will continue to grow at the rate it is growing it may even uh, further enhance the growth because all the systems are in place and it is been very positive so we will we are known as uh, oncology centers we play a very dominant role in that in the entire country and we will continue to pursue that and we will certainly be dominant so last question what would you like to say to your investors no i would like to say unfortunately cancer we know it has been a concerned disease but we are now seeing patients living longer with good quality of life and uh, for them uh, also the cancer incidence is increasing one out of 13 to one out of 9 and soon it may be one in 7 so there will be increased number of cancer patients so investors can uh, participate in this an impact factor in healthcare is big so i would like investors who believe in social impact to participate as well as investors who want a good return you know hcg has been had seven uh, private equity all of them had a good return so we will continue to see this for the investors and we have made it in such a way we are structured in such a way most of the investors had had good return and this will continue as we move forward thank you so much doctor <laughs> for giving us you. your precious time and information thank you very much for having me thank you thank you sir